Masahiro Tanaka has returned to Japan. But over the course of his seven years with the New York Yankees, he endeared himself to fans, beginning with his introductory press conference. I'm very happy to be a Yankee. <laughs> Tanaka's tenure with the Yankees may be over for now, though he hinted at possibly having unfinished business, but his legacy is solid. An effective big game pitcher who always played the game with class. These are Masahiro Tanaka's top five Yankees moments, as submitted by you, the audience. Swing and a miss. Number five, Tanaka throws a Maddox versus Boston. If you want to endear yourself to Yankees fans, you need to play well against the Boston Red Sox. On a frigid April night in 2017, Masahiro Tanaka tossed what's called a Maddox in honor of Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. A Maddox is a complete game shutout on less than 100 pitches. On this night, Tanaka completed his nine innings of work with a tidy three hits allowed, no walks, three strikeouts, and threw just 97 pitches. He retired the final 14 men that he faced. Number four, Tanaka's first shutout. In the finest start of his incredible 11-1 run to begin his rookie season, Tanaka not only shut out the Mets to help the Yankees win 4-0, but he did so in dominating fashion, striking out eight, walking nobody, and picking up his first big league hit. Ground ball up the middle. How's this for a night for Tanaka? His first big league hit. With this victory, he became the first Yankees rookie to begin his career 6-0 since Whitey Ford in 1950. Number 3. 2019 ALCS Game 1 Imagine pitching to a team that knew what pitches were coming and still shutting them down. Unfazed by the hostile crowd in Houston, Masahiro Tanaka improved his 2019 postseason record to 2-0 with a 0.82 ERA by tossing six innings of one-hit ball, striking out four, and allowing just one walk against a tough Houston Astros lineup that would go on to narrowly lose the World Series. Despite a hostile crowd and a tough lineup that probably knew what was coming most of the time, Tanaka spun his typical dominance, giving the Yankees a 1-0 series lead. Number 2, 2017 ALCS Game 5. 2017 was the peak of Masahiro Tanaka's postseason dominance. With the series tied at two games apiece, Tanaka matched up against Yankees killer Dallas Keuchel. With the Yankees sliding up in the box to take away some of the sink on Keuchel's pitches, the offense put up five runs, and Tanaka did the rest. Over the course of 103 stress-filled pitches, Tanaka spun seven shutout innings and picked up his second victory of the postseason in front of one of the wildest, most amped up crowds in the history of the new Yankee Stadium. The shutout was capped off by another fan favorite and Madden football legend, Tommy Canely. And number one, 2017 ALDS Game 3. Down two games to none to the heavily favorited Cleveland Indians in Game 3 of the 2017 ALDS, Masahiro Tanaka had his signature moment as a Yankee. On this chilly autumn night, in front of a sellout crowd of 48,614, Tanaka kept the Yankees season alive with seven shutout innings against what many people felt was the deadliest team in baseball that year. Tanaka allowed just one walk and struck out seven, and with a little help from Greg Bird and Aaron Judge, the comeback was on. The Yankees would go on to win the series in five games. Honorable mention, Tanaka's second start in the Bronx. This was versus the Cubs on April 16, 2014, when he tossed eight shutout innings, striking out 10 against the team that would later end his unbeaten streak. Honorable mention, 
June 17, 2019 versus the Tampa Bay Rays when Masahiro Tanaka gave up just two hits and struck out 10 in one of his most dominating starts as a New York Yankee. Thanks for watching, and for now, sayonara. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel.